we're asked to make a truth table for the conjunction p and if q then p. Notice how the given statement has two variables, which indicates to begin the truth table, we have a column for p and a column for q, and then we have a column for the implication of q then p, and finally we have a column for the given conjunction. The table includes four rows because there are four possible permutations of true and false for p and q. We have true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. And now to complete the column for if q then p, an implication is false only when the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false, otherwise the implication is true. So the implication if q then p is false when q is true and p is false. Analyzing column one and column two, notice in row three, q is true and p is false. This is the only row in which the implication of q then p is false. Everywhere else, the implication is true. The column for if q then p is true, true, false, true. And now for the given conjunction, p and if q then p is true only when p is true and if q then p is true. Otherwise, the conjunction is false. Analyzing column one and column three, p is true and if q then p is true in row one as well as row two. In these two rows, the given conjunction is true. In row three and four, the given conjunction is false. The last column is true, true, false, false. Next, we're asked to make a two table for the negation of p or not p and if q then p. Notice the only difference in this statement is we're taking the negation of p, which means for the truth table, we include an extra column for not p. Not p is false when p is true, and not p is true when p is false. The column for not p is false, false, true, true. We already know from above the column for if q then p is true, true, false, true. Again, an implication is false only when the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false, which again is when q is true and p is false. The column for if q then p is true, true, false, true. And for the last column, the conjunction not p and if q then p is true only when not p is true and when if q then p is true. Otherwise, the conjunction is false. So analyzing the third and fourth columns, notice p is true and if q then p is true in the fourth row, which indicates not p and if q then p is true in the fourth row, all the rows, the conjunction is false. The last column is false, 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 true. I hope you found this helpful.